Okay. Well, welcome. Come to your mat and take a nice comfortable seated position. And I feel free to wiggle into your body a little bit here. Maybe move your head around. All right. Some rolls of your shoulders, a few back, and then maybe a few forward. And take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Fill your body up as much as you're able to. Open your mouth and sigh that out. Ah. Just allowing your eyes to close down if you haven't already done so. Take a moment and scan from the crown of your head down to your toes. Acknowledging how you're feeling this morning, this afternoon. All right. Notice any areas that might need a little extra attention throughout your practice. Feel free to modify wherever you need to, giving yourself permission to go a little deeper wherever you find yourself able to. Again, take another deep breath in through your nose, fill all the way up to the top, and then a big sigh out. With an inhale, draw your arms up to the sky, stretch tall, as tall as you can get. Root down through your sit bones and then reach with your right fingers a little bit further as if you're also pressing down with your right hip. So feel that side of your body get longer, keep stretching up and then very gently switch sides. So you're gonna reach with your left fingers a little bit higher. See if you can press down through your left hip as if it's grounded to the mat. A breath, fill your side body. Now reach equally with both arms. Stretch up as if you're pulling from your waist, lifting off the ground. Push down through your tailbone. One more breath here. And as you exhale, reach forward and down, letting your hands come towards the floor or the mat, allowing your head to truly fall forward. Feel free to just hang here or wiggle into your low back a little bit. Take note of your breath. See if you can slow your breathing down so you're really expanding outward as you inhale. And taking just as much time to exhale. From here, you're going to take your right arm, reach it up towards the ceiling, and then reach back behind you. So there's a bit of a twist as if you're reaching for the wall behind you. Keep stretching your fingers. You're opening up your right shoulder, back, right? Reach one more breath here. And then as you exhale, take your hand back forward and down. Mm, just breathe here. Just notice any shifts or changes from the movement. And then we'll take our left arm and do the same. So you're rotating your left arm up towards the ceiling and then all the way back behind you. So you're opening up your shoulder. You're feeling a bit of a twist in your torso. Imagine trying to reach the wall back behind you here, All right? Pulling and stretching. See if you can press down through your tailbone at the same time. One more breath. And then reach forward and down once more. Now walk your hands towards your shins to slowly lift your body back up, right? You'll clasp your hands behind your back. All right, so think of interlacing your fingers here and maybe stretching them back or just resting them on the floor, but allow your torso to stay lifted. So not leaning forward and not crunching down, All right? Push through your tailbone, lift up through your chest, maybe pull your shoulders back together and possibly lift your gaze to the ceiling. So you can feel a nice big stretch on the front of your neck and be sure you're, you close your mouth and then also think of closing the jaw within, right? So everything closes up, a little more stretch on the front. One more full breath here. And just sigh and release, come back upright. You're gonna release your feet to the mat, knees are bent, hands are gonna come forward, all right? So already engage your belly, pull your belly to your back and see if your heart can lift slightly. And right? let your shoulders slide down. Take a breath in, lift your arms up overhead so you're getting very tall, like you're sitting in a chair. And then as you exhale, come down about halfway. 
press your belly to your spine. Arms can come forward. Now again, inhale, reach your arms up overhead as you lift your torso tall. And as you exhale, reach arms forward, bring your body about halfway down. Again, big breath in, press through your tailbone, get tall and reach. Exhale, reach forward as your body comes halfway down, belly to spine. One more time, inhale up and exhale, lower halfway. Stay here and pause just for a moment. See if you can really press down through your tailbone and allow both feet to stay grounded to the earth. All right, what happens is our thighs tend to engage and our feet start to float up, but we wanna keep our legs soft and we want the belly to press like you're flattening against your back body, right? Already engaging the core. See if your shoulders can soften, you can even roll them out a little bit. Just relax into that. Take one more breath here. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down to the mat. One vertebrae at a time maybe. And then release your arms overhead. Stretch as long as you can. Reach your feet to the front of your mat. And just get as tall as you can. Maybe point your toes to the front. Reach your fingertips back as if you're being pulled. Another breath here. And then you're going to flex your feet, reaching your heels towards that front of your mat, pulling your toes back towards your face. Feel the backs of your legs, your calves all stretch out now. You can even get a little arch in your low back. That might feel really good after that little bit of ab work, lengthening them out, and then gently relax the whole body down. And just take note of what sensations you feel here. Maybe scan from the crown of your head to your toes. Notice your breathing. Just allowing it to slow down if you can. It's all about taking your time. Now you're gonna bend your knees to bring your feet flat on the mat. Want your arms to come like gold posts, right? So it's as if they're, your elbows are bent and you're creating these gold posts with your arms, elbows right out from your shoulders and then your forearms at a 90 degree angle from them. And just notice if for some reason you're finding it difficult to allow the arms to fall back down to the ground, feel free to place something underneath them, a pillow or a blanket, something that allows you to open up and let them fall. All right, now from here, I want you to draw your shoulder blades back towards each other. So you're really pressing them down into the mat and you're dragging them towards each other, pulling them in. See if you can maintain that nice strong back here, pulling the shoulder blades together and down, and then press down into your pelvis. So you might feel a little bit of an arch at the low back. It's not a really huge one, just enough so your pelvis is pushing into the floor. Now push into your feet, keep that little pelvis tilt and push and lift your hips to the sky. So nice and slow, you're pressing your hips up towards the ceiling, pushing through your heels all the way up, and then you're gonna slowly come back down. See if you can maintain your shoulders nice and strong against the ground. Come all the way down until your tailbone hits, really pushing into the ground. Again, push down into your feet, keep your tailbone tilted down into the floor, and with that same orientation, just lift your hips up towards the sky. All right, nice and strong through your shoulders as they're pushing the earth away, really squeezing them together. And then take your time bringing your torso or your hips all the way back down to the floor. All right, this very slow, deliberate movement. So again, engage your shoulder blades, make sure they're pulled in together, pressing into the ground, nice support. Let your tailbone push into the floor, push through your feet, and then lift your hips up to the sky, nice and gently and then bring them back down. Let's do that one more time. Really think about engaging the shoulders so they're really supporting you there. Press your pelvis to the floor and then push through your heels, lift your hips up to the sky. See if you can just hold here for a moment, really pressing the floor away. Now you've got this great support underneath your heart as your shoulder blades pull towards each other and push into the ground. Feel your pelvis pressing high to the sky. Imagine your knees moving away from you towards the front of your mat, 
really creating a lot of space. Now, are you able to come up a little bit higher on your back? Right? You're continuing to pull your shoulder blades. See if you could push the floor away a little bit more, growing across the front of your body. Right? Feeling maybe a stretch through the legs, the chest. Now, if you're okay here, are you able to clasp your hands behind your back? So drawing the arms down behind you, maybe clasping them the way you did when we were sitting up. And if not, just simply press down through your forearms. That's fine. Right? But now that you've walked your shoulder blades a little further together underneath you, can you scoop your torso a little bit higher? Can you press your chest up as if it's moving towards your chin? And you can press through the back of your head for a little more support. Continue to press your shoulders into the floor, squeezing the hips up towards the ceiling, reaching your knees towards the front of your mat, pulling away from you. One more full breath here. And then take your time, release your hands, slowly bring your torso back down to the mat, allowing your tailbone to find its way to the floor. And just windshield wiper your knees gently from side to side. Take your time. It's just an easy movement here. And then you'll draw your knees into your chest, wrap your arms around your shins, right? Maybe pulling them in tight. If it's too hard to reach your shins, just pull onto your thighs and draw them in, all right? And you can take a rock from side to side, might feel nice. And then settle in center, squeeze your belly into your back. See if you can lift your shoulders and your head to reach them up towards your knees. And just breathe here. All right, and then maybe you could even release your arms and reach them forward alongside your legs. All right, so you're reaching through your fingertips, trying to lift your shoulders off the ground, pull your belly in, and see if you can keep breathing. So don't just hold your breath here. All right, if you want a little more challenge, you can always extend your right leg forward as well. Without letting it come down to the ground, see if you can reach through that heel stretch and press. Reach for your fingers as if they're going to touch your foot down there. And then gently bring your right knee back in. Stay up. See if you can maintain this. Breathe. And then extend your left leg forward. Push through your heel. See if you can lift your shoulders maybe a tiny bit more. Stretch your fingertips like they're pulling for your foot. All right? One more breath. Breathe in. And then gently bring your knees in. I'll release your shoulders. And then gently rock it out from side to side. Hopefully you can feel your abdominals now. It might be a little warm, creating a little fire there, right? And then possibly rock from top to bottom. All right? If you don't enjoy that, feel free to just simply roll to one side. Use your arms to press yourself up. But maybe a little massage for the spine is warranted. Maybe you can rock yourself and roll all the way up to a forward fold. All right? Get a little momentum and allow yourself to come up to your feet, roll your body forward and hang over your legs. And feel free to come any way you need to, to get to that position. And then take some time and maybe move from foot to foot, front to back. I want you to feel your feet connect to the mat, all right? Can you lift all 10 toes and spread them nice and wide? and then allow them to gently step back down to the floor, right, gripping the mat gently. As you press down into your feet, begin to lift through your tailbone, remembering your knees don't ever have to be straight, right? Maybe you've got your knees really bent to support your upper torso, that's good too. Right? Just find what's working for you. And we're gonna walk our hands to the right, right over to the right side of our foot. So you might find that your, see if you can take your left pinky to the outside of your right pinky toe. And it's a little bit of a twist in your torso. See if you can push down into your feet while lifting up through your tailbone, maybe feeling that behind your legs, maybe at the calves or the backs of the knees. You might find another spot you're feeling it. See if you can lift up, press through both legs. One more breath here. And then slowly bring yourself back to center. So just allow your torso to fall center. 
Mm, can be very subtle movement, which can have big effects. Now we're gonna walk over to the left. See if we can walk our hands over so the, the right pinky is to the outside of your left pinky toe. Now take a moment, just notice what that changes. What do you feel? And then really focus on pushing the floor away, trying to lift up through your tailbone. So instead of just sinking back into your heels or transferring weight to one foot, what happens if you try to maintain equal weight on both feet and you keep that weight maybe in the center or more towards the ball of the foot, less sinking back and lift up through your tailbone. And you might feel it more in one leg than the other and just breathe. And then allow your body to simply fall back to center, walking the hands around. Now we're gonna bend our knees a lot, take our hands to our thighs or our forearms to our thighs, coming into a bit of a squat, a real supported squat, right? I, had a, I have a teacher who always calls this public restroom pose, which truly describes the position for you. So you can really settle down into your legs, right? Arms, forearms pressing into your thighs, and then push your heart away. So create some traction for yourself using your arm strength. See if your tailbone can drop a little bit more, trying to release your low back, and push away, right? Now draw your shoulders down your spine as if you were laying on the ground, and we pulled the shoulders in together and down. See if you can find that same position. And then notice if you're still breathing, right? Nice gentle breath in. So your legs are working, right? You've got this bend squat in your legs, so you're definitely firing up those large muscles. We're right? creating a little traction for our spine by using our arm muscles as well, pressing the thighs away. And then allow your tailbone to get a little heavier. Try to let it just drop away from you. One more breath. And as you exhale, fold forward once more. Release your body, lengthen out your legs. All right, you can even shake your legs out a little bit or wiggle them if that feels good. And then we're gonna take our time rolling our spine up. So see if you can soften your knees, pull your belly to your spine and roll one vertebrae at a time, stacking up on top of the next as your head simply hangs forward being the last thing that will arrive up on top. Roll your shoulders back and down and stand tall in mountain for a moment. Let your eyes stay closed. All right, just feel this nice connection to the ground as you root down. All right. Thighs are stacked up on top of your knees, belly pulled in and up. Shoulders simply fall away as the hands drop towards the ground. Now, if you could imagine someone holding you from the crown of your head, just lifting towards the sky, take another deep breath in, big sigh out. And with an inhale, reach your arms up overhead, stretch it tall. From here, grab your right wrist, pull it up and over to the left side of the room. Right, and as you pull, see if you can press down through your right foot. Imagining you're up against a wall, right, and both shoulder blades still against that wall, so you haven't turned at all. all right, pull your belly in and lift. Nice. One more breath. With an inhale, come back upright, tall reach for the ceiling, switching sides. Grab that left wrist, pull it up and over. So again, try not to turn your body. You want to press down through your left foot, just as strong as you're pulling your arm. Breathe into your armpit, your side, your hip. Feel the stretch. One more breath. And then come back upright. With an exhale, lead with your heart, forward fold. As you inhale, come to a halfway lift. And then fold forward. Push your mat away, rise back up. Reach all the way to the ceiling. Exhale, hands through heart center and down by your side. Just take a breath here, pause. Now, inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Take a gentle halfway lift and step your left foot to the back of your mat. All right? 
You can just, once your foot has arrived, see if you can tow it a little further away from you, right? And if you can't reach the ground, there's always the option of putting something underneath your hands for support to bring yourself a little higher. Right? You're gonna take one more breath, pulling your thighs apart, and then allow your back knee to come down to the ground. Right? And just soften the back foot to the mat. Take a moment and dip down into your hips a little bit and then pull back. All right, so if you could think of reaching forward, letting your hips fall, and then pushing your hips back slightly, lengthening your leg. And there's really no rhyme or reason, just, just whatever feels good here, maybe even a rock from side to side. All right, I'm kind of rocking from right to left as well. All right, just after you've done that a few times, we're going to bring ourselves back to this kneeling lunge, hands to your thigh, your front thigh, and lift your torso up. All right, and let your hands support you here. Let them push the thigh away. Now, you don't want your hands on your knee. We're not trying to press any push, push, put any pressure on our knee. So think more on your thigh. If you could imagine taking your thigh and moving it forward away from you, but pulling your belly back. All right, so not bringing your hip forward, bring that back, but the thigh, as if you're physically trying to move the thigh muscle away from your hip. Now take another full breath here. Then you're gonna take your right arm, reach it forward first, straight out in front of you, and then up towards the ceiling and rotate back around behind you. And it may or may not open you all the way, it doesn't matter, don't feel like you have to get all the way back behind. See if you can keep lifting your heart up towards the sky, breathe, and then bring your arm back up forward and back to your knee. And you're gonna take your hands to the ground, curl your back toes under, lift your knee for a nice full runner's lunge. All right, so now we're getting a little stronger in both legs. See if you can try to pull both feet towards each other. Energetically try to drag them together. Take another full breath, reach your heart forward. See if you can pull your right hip back a little bit. And then one more inhale and we'll step to plank. Right? And you can always come to kneeling plank, but maybe both feet back, hips in line with your heels and your heart, drawing your heart forward. Really breathe in here, pull your belly to your spine. See if you can draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Again, just as if you were laying on your back and you had them out, you had those goalpost arms and you're pulling your shoulder blades together. Take one more inhale, lift your hips, press back, downward facing dog. And allow yourself to breathe here. Feel free to walk your dog out a little bit. Right, if it's your first dog of the day, it might feel really good to wiggle. And even if it's not your first down dog of the day, it might still feel really good to wiggle. Think of really pressing your hands into the ground. You can imagine almost trying to claw the earth, like pressing your knuckles down towards the floor. All right, now bend your knees so that they're just barely hovering above the mat. All right, your tailbone's gonna lift, maybe like a little arch in your low back. See if you can press through your hands, pushing your heart towards your thighs. All right, so the upper torso feels like a really long down dog that your knees are just bent and hovering above the mat. One more breath here. And then lift your tailbone high, lengthening your legs. And see if you can draw your heels down towards the floor. They do not need to touch the ground, but just let them come towards the mat. Now with an inhale, raise your right leg into the air. Stretch it up nice and tall. See if you can press through your heel without lifting your hip for the moment. All right, see if you can keep your hips level or square. Pressing long through both arms, especially that right arm. Now begin to rotate your toes, your whole leg out towards the right. And so now you're rotating the thigh and the toes and lifting up through your hip, 
pop your hip right on top of your left and then maybe bend your knee. All right, take one more breath here. See if you can lift your knee up away from you a little bit more. And then extend your leg nice and long, square your hip, step your foot forward between your hands. Allow your back knee to come down to the mat. Soften your back foot. And then take a little time to wiggle into your hips. Maybe dropping forward, pulling your hip back. Right, so you might be loosening up from side to side. Right, moving from right to left. Mm, it's a chance to explore. It's not really determined what it needs to be. You're the one who decides what you need here. And then we'll settle down. We'll take our hands to our thigh one more time, lifting up. All right, maybe feeling a little bit deeper into that thigh. This time, arms to the ceiling, all right? Reaching up nice and high, pulling your heart back. See if you can tuck through your tailbone. One more full breath in, and then hands to the mat, and you'll step to forward fold. Mm, take a halfway lift, clasp your hands behind your back, Maybe this time take an opposite grip. So move your pinky over one. Like all your fingers move over one, so the opposite pinky's on top. And with an exhale, fall forward. And as your tailbone lifts and your heart falls, you may increase your arm stretch by reaching your knuckles away. Right? Possibly drawing shoulders and, and forearms towards each other. Maybe letting the arms continue to move away from you. Remember your breath. One more inhale. Gently release your arms down as you exhale. Slowly roll your body up. Take your time. Feel your back as each vertebrae stacks. Pushing through the floor through your feet, rolling your shoulders back. Once again, arriving in mountain. Checking in, what's changed? And how does one side feel compared to the other? Nice, full, deep breath in. And let it go. <sighs> Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Take that halfway lift and step your right foot to the back of your mat. Once it arrives, see if you can get those toes to move a little further back. All right. And then drop your knee to the floor, soften the top of your back foot, and now play with your hips front to back. All right. Maybe lengthening your leg as you move your hips back, maybe sinking a little deeper into your hips as you move forward. Taking your time, not rushing it. Rock from side to side. Where do you feel the shape and the movement? And then we'll settle into our legs, push down into the back shin, push into your front heel, and bring your hands to your thigh. All right. Taking a moment, sinking into it. And again, see if you can take your hands on their thigh. Imagine trying to move your thigh away from you, but continue to pull your hip back. All right. Just creating some, some pull there with your arm strength. Now your left arm is going to reach straight forward. All right, so to the front of the room. And then you're going to open up to the left. So draw it up to the sky and back behind you. All right? So you're rotating like a big arc. And again, it's okay if it doesn't turn all the way. All right? So maybe it's, it's not all the way to the back of the room. All right? Allow your shoulder to open up, and that dictates where your hand actually reaches. All right? 
but let your body turn. You can use this right hand to keep pushing the thigh away and then see if you can pull your midsection back and up. All right, so you're still lifted. You're still right above your right knee. And so you don't want to be off centered with your torso. You want to still rise up towards the sky. One more full breath, reach through your left fingers and then bring them forward and down once more. Hands to the mat, curl your back toes under, lift your back knee so you're in a full runner's lunge. All right, take some time and drag your feet towards each other. Really engage your legs, all right? Firing up the big muscles, all right? Pulling your left hip back as you stretch your heart forward lengthening the body. Give yourself one more breath here and then step to plank. So simply take your left foot to meet your right. Or if your knees are on the ground, simply in kneeling plank, keep your hips forward of your knees, All right? So in our full plank, think of breathing strong into your body, belly up to your spine, heart moves forward. One more breath. We're gonna just rock slightly forward on our toes and then lower to the ground. Elbows to ribs, you can always bring your knees down first, but come all the way down to the floor. Release the tops of your feet to the mat. And then take your arms out like those gold posts. I want you to imagine you're laying on your back once more. All right, so you've got these gold post arms. We're gonna draw our shoulder blades together and down. Your arms lift, press through your pelvis, lift your heart. All right, see if you can anchor through the tops of your feet. And so if you're noticing your feet are starting to float up, really engage all the way down into the mat, press down. All right, see if you can squeeze your shoulder blades together a little bit more. Notice if it helps to lift your heart, press through your pelvis and your feet, reach your heart forward. One more breath, you're gonna pull and lift, and then very slowly release down. Now hands are gonna come by your rib cage, Curl your toes under. See if you can lift your knees, squeeze your belly in, and push yourself back up to plank. Or if not, come to kneeling plank first, then plank, then downward facing dog. I'm using this time to check in, feeling what's happening, noticing changes or shifts. What sensations have you created? You're gonna lift your left leg into the air and see if you can keep from lifting your left hip. Right? The leg might not go as high as you really want it to, that's okay. Press through your heel and push back through your left hand. You should feel as if your whole left side is getting longer moving in opposite directions. Now, I want you to think of your leg moving as one unit, right, in the hip socket, rotating. Allow the toes to rotate out to the left, so they've rotated within the hip socket. Now lift the hip up on top of your right, right? And then maybe bend your knee. Notice if your whole body turned or if you can maintain your upper torso square to the mat. Continue to push through both hands, maybe reaching down with your right heel as your left knee reaches up and away, like someone's pulling it away from you. One more full breath in, sigh it away. <sighs> Inhale, straighten your legs, square off your hip. Gently step that foot forward to the top of your mat. Let your back knee come down. And then maybe one last time, wiggling into your hips. And just whatever feels good. Really trying to loosen up any spots that are still tight. And we'll press into our feet. This time, lifting our hands up towards the sky. All right, so nice and strong through both legs. And we can find stability by pushing down through that back shin and pushing into the front heel and pulling it towards your back knee. Now imagine trying to draw your left heel towards your right knee. <sighs> Breathe in, lift up through your chest. One more breath and then forward fold. Hands to the top of your mat, step forward. Allow yourself to hang. 
Take a halfway lift as you breathe in and fold forward. We'll push the mat away and rise up. Get as tall as you can. Hands to heart center right by your side. And you're going to take your right foot, step it to the back of your mat. All right, so you're facing the long way on your mat. Both toes will face forward. Heels will be slightly turned out, so a little bit up. And just take a moment, reach up with your hands and out, like a big star. There you go. Pull your belly in and up, lift. All right, you want to feel as if your tailbone is drawing down towards the floor and your heart's pulling you up. Reach out through your fingers. Nice energy all the way out like you're shooting fireworks through those fingertips. One more breath and then fold forward as you exhale. Hinging at the hips, letting your heart reach out and down. And your hands can come to wherever they're comfortable. If they make it to the ground, that's fine. If not, maybe they stop at your shins or you can support yourself at your thighs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just allow your body to hang. Notice if you can push through the outer edges of your feet and try to lift your tailbone a little bit higher. There might be a little tipping sensation as if you're moving forward rather than falling back. Try not to just sink into your heels. Really allow your feet to press through the balls into the ground. And from here, you're going to walk your hands forward a little bit. Right, so your heart's reaching forward, more of that down dog sensation. All right, and then I just want you to bend your knee softly, not a lot. Just barely bend your knee and just relax it, I guess you would say. And then see if you can press back through your hips, both hips equally. So you're not bending your knee and moving to the right. You're just softening that knee so you can focus on pulling your hips, especially your left hip back. Maybe feeling a little bit more in the back of your left leg. All right, it's subtle. Think about lifting hips equally so you haven't sunk into one. And then continue to press through the floor, lengthening your side body. And continuing to grow, right? Continuing to move into this shape and this stretch. One more full breath. Softly release. Walk your hands slightly back as you straighten your right leg, if that helps. All right, we'll come to the other side. So hands are forward, heart presses back. Soften your left knee. And allow both hips to pull back equally. All right, so you might be focused on lengthening that right leg a little bit more now because you're able to release any tension on the left. All right, really pull both hips back behind you as you push your heart towards that V in your legs. Can you press your arms forward, really push into the mat. Continue to push down through your right foot. Right, breathe into your calf, the back of your knee, your hamstring, wherever you're feeling the pull. And just notice if you can keep growing into it so it's not like you hit a position and just statically stay there. Let it move, let it be fluid, no matter how minute that might be. One more breath. Let it go. And then soften your knees, walk your hands back towards you. You're gonna pull your heels in towards you, so your heels in, toes turned out. All right, so you've shortened your stance, bend your knees, bring your arms to your thighs. We're gonna come into a little bit of a squat here. All right, so your arms are supported, very similar to when we were in a, a seated chair with our arms. All right, just for a little bit, see if you can wiggle your toes. And from here, you're gonna push into your heels, allow yourself to rise all the way up. Push down to allow that body to come up, stand up. Whew. All right, hands at hips, bend your knees into um, horse stance. All right, so we're gonna bend our knees with our body up right now. All right, you can wiggle from side to side, maybe rock into those hips if that feels good. All right, now I want you to keep your hands on your hips, keep that left foot where it is, keep your hips where they are, 
and see if you can take, lift the ball of your, or the heel of your right foot and simply rotate your knee in. Just rotate your knee in, knee drops underneath you, and then rotate it back out. So you're really thinking of trying to move in that hip socket. Again, you're gonna lift up through the heel, turn your right knee in, nothing else is moving but that leg, and then rotate it back out. One more time, just like that, you're gonna rotate in, and then rotate it out. I lied, now one more time. <laughs> rotate it in and stay here. Keep it there. Press down through your right foot and straighten your right leg. All right. And now you might turn those left toes out a little bit more, arms out to the side, and we're right in warrior two. All right. So we really should feel open through our hips by coming into warrior two this way. All right. You simply rotated the leg rather than the hip socket, which is different. All right. Keep your arms stretching out. You can imagine them just sitting on like two tables on either side all right? and reaching behind. Stretch as if someone's pulling them away from you. See if you can wiggle your toes, all right? So you shouldn't be gripping with your toes. You wanna see if you can press into the outer edge of your right foot. There might even be a little lift under the arch. All right? Press down through your front heel. Take a breath. <sighs> nice. Don't change anything with your legs. See if your left fingers can reach forward. Forward, forward, like you're gonna touch something. Don't change your legs at all. Just keep pulling your torso into this nice diagonal line, right? Now, right hand towards right thigh, left arm up and over. Nope. Left arm to left thigh, right arm up and over. <laughs> Stretch through your fingers, all right? Now, I want you to bend your elbow, like, Pull your elbow towards your hip like you're coming into that, like a half of our goalpost. And so half a goalpost with that right arm. Draw your shoulder, shoulder blade back and in, all right? See so if your belly can pull to your back spine and then push your tailbone towards the back of your mat. Now try to rotate your torso up towards the ceiling a little bit, like, like your right shoulder and elbow are pulling you back into a little bit of a turn. Right. You can use this left arm as a little bit of leverage, pressing against that thigh to keep your left thigh opened up. All right. You can stay right here or maybe bend that elbow around and take your right hand behind your back. So you're looking up towards the sky. If, you've been, if you're able to find your back and slide the hand to your hip, what happens if you try and push your right hand into your left hip? All right, really push down and pull your torso away. And it's okay if you can't find your hip. Don't feel like you have to get into that. We'll take one more full breath. If you want a little more challenge, feel free to lift your left arm up towards your left ear. All right, stretch and reach it away. Lots of core, right? Pull your belly in, one more breath. And lift your left arm up to the sky, a little reverse here. See if you can stretch. If that hand's still behind you, you might still be able to push down on your left thigh and reach your left fingers to the ceiling. Then notice if you're still breathing. Can your arm get longer, like someone's pulling it away from you? And then come back up to warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Turn your left heel out. All right, so you've got this nice wide straddle once more. Big breath. And exhale, fold forward. Allow yourself to simply hang from your hips. If you want a little more challenge, you could walk your hands through that V in your legs, possibly. Pulling your elbows back through. Allowing your body to draw with it. See if you can still lift through your tailbone as you push the floor away through your feet. This time we'll soften our knees, come up halfway. See if you can pull your belly to your spine like your torso is parallel to the floor. Possibly, you know, knees can be nice and soft here. Possibly hands straight out to the sides, right? Like you're just flat. 
Imagine your tailbone pulling in the opposite direction of your, the top of your head, right? Again, a little more challenge, maybe taking your arms forward up alongside your ear, stretching and reaching in the opposite direction of your tailbone. And that can be more strenuous for your low back. So take, take what you need. One more breath. Now you're gonna push through your feet and rise all the way up on top. Oh, hands to hips. Now pull those heels in towards you, bend your knees, come back into that horse stance. All right, feel free to rock it from side to side. Settle in. I want you to feel as if your tailbone's pulling to the ground, right? Not back behind you, All right? Tuck that under, let it drop towards the floor, pull your belly in and up and let that lift. All right, so from here, we're gonna keep everything the same except this left thigh. Think of the thigh moving in the hip socket. Lift up your left heel, simply rotate that knee in, like it's just dropping right underneath you, and then rotate it out. Try not to move anything else. See if you can just, even if the leg doesn't go very far, all right, rotate it in, and then simply rotate it out. All right, it's two more like that. Take your time, rotate that hip in the socket, and see if you can rotate it back out. Last time, you're gonna rotate in, let the knee drop, stay here. See if you can press down into your left heel and lengthen your left leg. All right, so press the heel to the floor and straighten your left leg. You can rotate your right toes a little bit more so they're directly to the front of the mat, keeping your knee opened. Warrior two, reach your arms out. And then notice if you're breathing. Take time, feel the pose, feel the strength in your legs. I feel your arms reaching away from you, the crown of your head lifting you up towards the sky. Right? And always think of everything pulling in the opposite direction to create more length. Now, right fingertips, as if someone's literally pulling you forward by the fingertips. Nothing else changes, so don't shift your legs in any way. Just allow your arm to pull as slowly as you need to. Take your time as you stretch the body, creating this diagonal line across the left side. Now, right forearm to right knee or thigh, right? And it's really just a placeholder. I'm not using it like a shelf, right? So just barely holding it. Belly is what's holding me up. Rotate out. Now you're gonna take this arm and create, oh, let's reach it over first. Yeah, let's reach it over, reach through your fingertips. Try to get long through your whole left side. See if you can, again, pull your ribs in, rotate your shoulder open. Now you're gonna bend your elbow like half that goal post. So bend the elbow right out to the side as if you're lying against the ground, right? See if you can squeeze your shoulder blade towards the middle of your back, all right? So instead of it being way up here, you're gonna pull your shoulder blade back behind you. Right, and then from here, trying to simply rotate open a little bit. It's just the upper torso. It can be very subtle. Right? Now maybe your arm can bend behind you and find the crease of your hip, or you simply let it stay the back of your hand at your mid-back. Right? And then think of pressing into that hand. Right? Just rotating, continue to pull shoulder blades together. All right, maybe push down through your right thigh to create some length up your torso. And that last little bit, you wanna reach your arm up alongside your ear and you may say, heck no, I don't wanna do that. And that's okay. But pull, oh, so that right arm is stretching along your right side. All right, one more breath. Now push through the floor, let your right arm reach all the way up to the sky. So left hand behind your back, right arm reaching to the ceiling as you're reversing your warrior. All right, push down through your feet. See if you can lift your whole right side a little bit more. All right, your arm is trying to pull you off the ground. And slowly come back to center, arms out. Straighten out that front leg. Turn the toes in. This time, pull your heels, toe heel until you bring your legs in to center and find mountain pose. Close your eyes. You're gonna scan from the crown of your head down to your toes. Noticing how your body feels now compared to when you first stepped onto your mat. 
Take your hands to heart center, maybe one hand on top of the other. I want you to feel your heart energy. And feel that heart beating inside your chest. Allow your breath to slow everything down. Feel this connection you're making with yourself. The time you've given yourself to be here right now. Take another full deep breath in. Big sigh out. And take your arms up to the sky. Exhale, gentle forward fold. A nice halfway lift and simply step to down dog. Feel your tailbone reaching, your heels pulling towards the earth. Your body lengthening, side body getting a little bit longer. One more nice big breath here. And then gently bring your knees to the mat, your big toes to touch, and fall into child's pose. And if your head doesn't quite make it to the mat, make sure that you've got something under your forehead, whether it's your hands or a block or a prop. Give yourself a moment here. Release. Surrender into the earth. And just note if there's anything you're holding on to that doesn't serve you right here and right now. Because this is your chance to let it go. Take your time walking your hands towards you to lift your torso back up onto your heels. And simply transitioning to your tailbone, bring your hips to one side, feet around to the front. We're gonna make our way down onto our backs. Coming back into that long stretch, reaching your toes forward, arms overhead. Allow yourself a little arch in your low back. All right, feel your tailbone press into the ground. That little arch that maybe a little toy car or something could get underneath there, right? One more breath. And then let that go for a moment, just a pause. When you're ready, draw your right knee into your chest. Pull it in tight. And then use your left hand to pull it across your body. Coming into a twist, you'll reach your right arm out to the side, turning your head towards the right as well. Just notice what you feel here. Is there any resistance? Any area you can send your breath to soften? And allowing your right hip to drop away, moving it towards the front of your mat. Letting your right shoulder get really heavy, falling back into the floor. Allow your breath to fill into your belly, really extending outward. And as you empty, pull it all back in. And slowly come back onto your spine. Let's take your time extending your right leg forward. When you're ready, draw your left knee into your chest. Pull it in tight and then draw it across your body. Letting your left arm reach out, maybe turning your head in that direction. Letting your hip move away from you. Okay. What happens if you draw your left hip towards the front of your mat? And send your breath maybe low into your back. Feeling your belly expand, your body soften each time you exhale. So letting go.
And then take your time once again, coming back to center. Slowly extend your leg long. Allow your legs to be a little wide. So maybe reaching out towards the corners of your mat. Feel free to shimmy or shake. A little wiggle to the body. And then bring your arms by your side, letting the palms face up to the sky. Give yourself one last cleansing breath, deep into the belly, let it rise to your chest, all the way across your sternum. Big sigh out. Ah. Now allow your breath to return to its natural state, no longer controlling it. There's nothing left to do but just be for these next few moments while your body receives the gifts of your practice.
And simply bringing your awareness back into your room. Wiggle your fingers and toes as you awake the physical body. Maybe gently roll your head from side to side. And when you're ready, reach your arms overhead, stretching your feet once more. Big stretch. Bend your knees to bring your feet on the ground and simply roll to whatever side feels right to you, using your arm as a pillow and savoring these last few moments of your practice. Commend yourself for taking this time out of your day to nourish your body, your mind, and your spirit. Now keeping your gaze quiet and inward, use your arms to press yourself up to a seated position and draw your hands to heart center once more, whether they're hand on top or Anjali Mudra. That connection to your heart energy, that energy that connects you to all beings everywhere. Just make a commitment to continue to take care of yourself honor your body, your mind, and your spirit. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. I thank you for the honor and the privilege of being your guide here today. And my heart bows to your heart. Namaste.